wanted to inflate a ball, but I inflated my wife's chest. <gasps> hey, kings. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well, living your absolute best lives. Before we get into the video, friendly reminder here to just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's easy, free, and it provides my ego with immense amounts of pleasure. Mm. Today we're taking a look at a very popular YouTube channel by the name of Troom Troom. Easy DIY how-to video tutorials, DIY accessories, makeup tutorials, life hacks, pranks, home decor, and and much more. Make it easy. And in case you were wondering, the much more refers to videos tailored towards children, often including softcore thumbnails and clickbaity titles and descriptions. It's good stuff. It's very quality content. And honestly, I couldn't even imagine growing up today trying to learn how to navigate the internet as a child, let alone being the parent in that situation. Kids basically exit the womb today with an iPad in their hand and companies and content farms shoving thumbnails and products in their face just trying to get a click. But not me though. No, no, no. See, I'm a creator with Tiggy. I look down on the Troom Trooms of this world, and I, I spit on their graves. Oh, shit. I spit on my computer screen. So today we're going to take a look at one of the unholy creations of this horrid social media account. Dissect it. Um, maybe lose a few brain cells. My dad's girlfriend is younger than me. Family prank wars. I'll take who is Big Ed for 500. I wanted to inflate a ball, but I inflated my wife's chest. <gasps> Listen, fellas, we've all been there. You're you're out camping with your girl and decide to go play a game of pickup in the middle of the forest. Perhaps with a Sasquatch or something. I don't know. Bigfoot. And uh-oh. Whoopsie daisy. Instead of inflating your profile ball to the proper PSI, you end up inflating your female companion's hooters. See you later, B cups. Hello, Double Ds. Ha. As much as I'd love to disagree with this video, um, unfortunately, this is a very common camping mishap. I know I've been in that situation more times than I would like to admit. That's why my girlfriend's knockers are so gigantic. Starting the video off strong with an epic family prank. Love to see it. Wonderful stuff. Christy, how many times have I asked you not to take my stuff without asking first? Why is my top all dirty again? Christy, you silly goose, quit stealing your stepmom's clothes. Girls, I have a surprise for you. We are going on a vacation. Must have been saving those tickets to Hawaii for an extra special disagreement. Very nice work. Yay! So we made up. Ah, uh, yes, another domestic dispute solved by a trip to Hawaii. I'm ready for a luxurious vacay. Christy, why do you look like that? <sighs> you wish. Let's go, girls! My, my brain just rebooted trying to follow that dialogue sequence. Tommy Wiseau has to be involved in this somehow. I don't know how else they could come up with these scripts. They're the most incredible dialogue sequences I've ever seen in my entire life. It's amazing. I love this. Here we are! Get out! Another day in paradise! Summer for men. I don't... I don't know what to make of that. I, there's so many questions that I have, and we're not even that far into the video yet. It's like it's full of rocks. No, no. There are a few pairs of shoes, dresses, and a makeup bag. This one? Can you carry it? Oh, yes. Christy goes nuclear to begin the family prank war with a brick painted to look like a makeup bag. Coat a clean paving slab with a few layers of black acrylic paint. No rush, or you'll ruin such a great surprise. This makeup bag is pretty solid. Okay, so for this sequence, you're gonna take this makeup bag and very nefariously run over to your dad's girlfriend's luggage. And, and remember, she is younger than you. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it in her luggage and that's gonna be the scene. Um, and that's the prank. This is a brick. Oh, Christy is fast asleep. I'm gonna teach her a lesson right now. I'll put ice in her shoes. Oh, look out, the stepmom quickly responds by pouring ice all over Christy's sandals. So you put some ice? I think lemonade with ice is gonna be much better. Have a nice vacation. Where's the ice? 
Ooh, and an instant backfire. You could really say she flipped it on. I'm not, no. Make a few holes at the base. I'll add some ice to cool you off, since you are so hot-tempered. Phew, why am I so sweaty? Ooh, chalk one up for the stepmom, who is younger than her stepdaughter. You guys probably haven't realized this, but the key to any good prank is ice. I believe that makes the score 2-1 for Christy, so don't call it a comeback yet, folks. Make stains on a towel using henna. This couch is so cozy. What's over there? I'll go take a look. Oh, and it looks like Christy widens her lead over her stepmom, who is younger than her, and it looks like she's been able to push her lead to 3-1. Careful there, Christy. Your stepmom's gonna write you out of the will if you keep this up. So we're about halfway through the video at this point, and the age of the dad's girlfriend has not been addressed yet, which leads me to believe that this YouTube account may be involved in a shady social media practice known as clickbaiting. La la la, the water is almost warm. This must be a very bougie Hawaii resort for the shower to be outside. Now I gotta ask, where has the dad been during this family prank war? Is he off harvesting coconuts or shredding the gnar? I think you don't need this dress anymore. My dress? Where is it? Where's the biggest leaf? I'm not going to wear leaves this whole time. There he is. Also, in case you forgot, this is a video marketed to children. <laughs> um, so, I don't really know what the message is thus far. I guess it's, if you don't like um, a member of your family, you should just prank them with ice. Oh, okay, it looks like Dad has been building a fire this entire time. Oh, I to take this call. Hi, this is the FBI. We wanted to talk to you about some things we found on your computer. And here are the stakes. Someone's calling again. Sir, we have you and your family surrounded. Please put the tongs down and give up peacefully. Mmm, smells amazing. Looks like they only made two steaks because fuck Christy, am I right? Come on. I hope it tastes as good. Let me put it on plates. Is that an entire vine of tomatoes on her plate? Is that a thing? I've never... I've never seen that before. That seems very, very strange. If any of you eat tomatoes like that, please let me know. I'm, I'm curious to learn more about that. <laughs> oh, looks like Christy doesn't appreciate being starved to death by her father and stepmother, so she's decided to replace her father's steak with a, a clay steak. How does Christy come up with all these classic goofs so quickly? I mean, it's really amazing. The fact that she's able to recognize the issue and address it with a prank and then create the prank. I mean, this is like... These, these are arts and crafts that she's doing to enable herself to prank her family. And she gets it done very, very quickly. Honey, what happened to my steak? Look! Uh, I don't know. Bamboozled again. Got him. Christy should have her own VH1 show at this point. These are just such classic goofs. It's amazing. What a great video. What's that? Didn't enjoy the clay steak? Well, how about I garnish your fettuccine alfredo with some earthworms? But you put so much work into it. Let me try it too. Well, it looks like the dad was able to avoid the Navy SEAL strike team sent to capture his creepy ass. And they also haven't changed their clothes since the lovely dinner in Hawaii. You know, one day down the line, if the government ever changes their mind on allowing me to reproduce, I, I hope this channel will still be around so that I can show these videos to my children someday. Okay, but seriously, this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen. As a viewer, I'm left with more questions than answers and also a slight migraine. Will Christy be allowed to stay in her father's home? How old is dad's girlfriend exactly and why is that never addressed in the video? Why does this video have 31,000 likes? Honestly, the like to dislike ratio is probably the most disturbing part. Let's see what these people have to say for themselves. If your dad has a girlfriend, don't be upset. Maybe it's not that bad. If she, of course, is not younger than you, the prank war cannot be avoided. Who want to hear their real voice? That is, that is uh, something I thought about as well, watching this video, like what they sound like in real life. I've literally only watched two minutes of the video and all the brain cells I had left are gone. I'm with you on that one, Mads. <laughs> Bro, the start of this and the thumbnails messed up. Yeah. Yeah, this is a weird video. This is very, very weird. How the dad stared at her butt with the leaves like, am I the only one who saw he had a different phone each time? I actually didn't notice that, so... Max Cool, you have a bigger brain than me. Congratulations. What a joke. This is actually actually the dumbest thing I have ever seen. You literally posted a video of a pinecone and you're saying this is dumb. 
Did they post a video of a pinecone? They have a two second video of a pinecone. <laughs> okay, Chunky Penguin. Oh, there's uh, the Cookie Monster offering out cookies. Bro, those flip-flops are actually extremely dangerous. Taking them off to take off most of the skin on your foot and leaving them on increases your chances of getting toe fungus. I see Icewing10 here is taking this video very seriously, very concerned about the safety and well-being of um, the stepmom's feet. Him, I wanted to inflate a ball, but I inflated my wife's chest. Oh yes, that happens to me at least every week. See, I told you, it's not that, it's not that uncommon. It happens all the time. This is messed up. This is so mean and has gone too far. Some are dangerous. I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, Tat Tatsy Rose really summed things up here perfectly. Um, I completely agree with this comment, and I'm going to give you a like. All right, so there you guys have it. A little look into the comment section. Uh, I will say... I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting there to be more toxicity in this and more people that are genuinely concerned. And given, there's there's a few of those, right? But it seems like a lot of people are just kind of memeing at this point. And I respect that. I have nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I just, as long as people aren't liking this unironically, then I have no problem with it. Well, Kings, that's all we got for this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, with all the creators out there, uh, producing incredible content. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate the fact that you've chosen to watch this video um, and interact with and engage with my channel and content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Again, it's easy, it's free, why not do it? Share the video, like the video, or dislike the video, whichever you feel is more appropriate. Uh, join the Discord to experience and bear witness to the world's most incredible collection of rare and mythic memes. And yeah, that's all I've got. That's the end of my plug. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Later, Kings.